Hello, everyone. Happy Wednesday, you guys. It's Whip Wednesday. How's your Wednesday going? Today is Wednesday, March 20th, 2024. I'm Angela with Happy Little Stitch Shop, and today we are here for Whip Wednesday. And so I'm whipping it up on a project that um, I'm in the middle of, I've fallen behind on, you know, whatever the situation is, it's still a whip, it hasn't become a finish. And so I'm whipping it up today. How is everybody today? How is your day going? How's the weather in your neck of the woods? How's your Wednesday going? Let me see who is here. Hello, Sheila. You almost forgot today was Wednesday. My days have been running together this week too. What day is it? I don't know. This light up here is kind of bugging me. Um, hello, Sharon. Hello, Donna Marie. Hello, Pam. Hello, Marsha. Hello, Free Spirit. So many commercials. Hello, Chris. Hello, Georgia. Hello, Marie. Hello, Nancy. Is pressing finished quilt squares. I love it. Progress. We are making progress in 2024. Hey, Jude. So cold going back into hibernation. I know. It is chilly out here and we're supposed to get snow again, like two to four inches or something like that, Thursday into Friday. Are you getting snow up there where you are? Or like, is it in the forecast coming up? Hello, Carolyn. Sunny but chilly and windy. Hello, Pauline. Hello, Glenda. Nancy, gorgeous day in Georgia. Just sat on my front porch steps in the sun for a bit. Doesn't it feel lovely to have the sun on your skin? Like it was a little warm. I think it was last week, maybe the week before. I don't really remember. And uh, I took my little one to the park because it was beautiful out. And so you get outside and be in the nice weather and the sunshine. And so we went to the park for some of the time while I was there. I was just like, Letting the sun, the warmth, it felt so good. The warmth of the sun again to feel that. Um, but now it's kind of gone away again. It's chilly here again. But how nice to sit on your front porch and just soak up the sun a little bit. I love that. Hello, Diane. Hello, Jane. Hello. Let's see. Free Spirit says my three little squatters are getting their nip and tucks in the morning. What's happening? Three little squatters. What? Trying to recall if this is a continuation from a previous conversation that I don't remember. Oh, her cat. Nice. Sharon, it says it's 70 there today. That sounds lovely. Hello, Deborah. Vitamin D is good for the soul and my old bones. Yes. It just feels good. Vitamin D is good. Hey, Jude, I had a little snow earlier today. And yes, two to eight for Thursday and into Friday. Yeah, you guys are going to get more up there. That's right. They said north of Madison was going to get hit a little bit harder. I'm working on making some curtains from a bathroom. What fabric are you using? Anything I'd be familiar with or maybe not? What color at least? Deborah, chilly, windy, and snow is on the way. But yeah, how much snow are you supposed to get up there? We're supposed to get two to four Thursday into Friday. And, and Jude is getting two to eight. That's a wide range. Your three little kittens, they lost their mittens and they began to cry. Oh, mother dear. Three little kittens. I love that. So today I am working on, oh, I almost threw these, threw these away not be good. They're needed for this block. So I'm continuing for Whip Wednesday on my quilt seeds, my hometown quilt seeds. So now I am up to number five, you guys. I'm up to number five. And I feel like this one's going to go pretty fast because I don't have many steps left. So I got started because I'm still a little frightened of, of these chimneys after my last experience. But look at these. This is perfect. And I didn't have to rip it out and do anything to it. It came together very nicely. So maybe I will work up before I get to number nine. 
I will work up the courage to do a chimney live with you guys again. We'll see. But for now, I've gotten this far and now I need to do the block again that goes here. So that's what I'm working on. I have these done, ready to go. I have these that I need to go press right now, my half square triangles. So I need to do that. And then I have a few more steps to finish up and then add that block to my house, to my hometown house. Black with lilacs. Oh, black curtains with lilacs. Nice. Deborah, I'm afraid to look at the forecast. Next week looks like winter. Oh, it does? All next week, too? I thought it was supposed to get warmer again next week. Ugh. Um, so I'm going to head over to my, my iron. I'm going to press these open really quick. How is your guys' week going? Does anybody have anything exciting going on this week besides impending weather? My oldest had her ACT test yesterday. She's taken it once already. And then yesterday was kind of supposed to be the official one, although both, both count and you can just choose whichever one you do better on and submit that. But she was supposed to do it last week. They were all scheduled to do it last week. And uh, the server was down, so they couldn't do the test. So it was a little bit frustrating, I think, for those poor kids. Because, you know, when you do the ACT, there are, like, so many rules. Like, you can't do this, and you can't do that, and you have to be there at this time. And if you're late, you can't get in the test. Like, there are so many stipulations. And so these poor kids... Um, it was scheduled last week and they all got there to take it. They sit down to take it and the, the server's not working. So then they have to wait. They're waiting, waiting, waiting to see if they can get the server back up and running. And then they get the server up and running and they take the first portion of the test and then the server crashes again. So then they couldn't get the server back up and running. Of course, everything's timed. So it all has to be done in a certain amount of time. So they couldn't get it back up and running. So they canceled it. So then they had to go yesterday and retake the first section of the test that they already took and then do the rest of the test. So it was a little crazy. I think she's happy to have that behind her. It's nice in Dallas, but rain tomorrow. We're supposed to get rain next week. Hello, Liz. Recovering from a dreaded colonoscopy this morning. Ugh. Necessary, but not fun. The necessary evils. Hello, Pam. Been crazy this week trying to get retreat goody goodies made. You and me both. Retreat is heavy on my plate this week with getting all the stuff done and put together only a month away. I know I need to get the sewing machine and get caught up on mercantile. Yes. So I haven't responded to your email, but I am working on sewing machine. I actually need to call the place today because they're only open Wednesdays and Thursdays. So I need to call the place today and see um, if there's another one. And then I can let you know. So stay tuned, Pam. I am working on it, but I couldn't call them until today to find out. So that's why you haven't heard from me yet. I'm waiting to be able to call. Okay, so these are done. What do I do with them? I'm going to set them over there. Um... Georgia, yesterday we celebrated our 53rd wedding anniversary. Happy anniversary, Georgia. 53. That's, that's no small feat, my friend. Oh, no problem. I just didn't want you to think I was leaving you hanging, Pam. But no problem. I'll just make a call and see what we can do. Happy anniversary to Georgia. Eight to both top corners of a Q. We need a Q and we need an A. Oh, we're gonna do flying geese units. That's what we're doing. Okay, I'm gonna go make some flying geese, my friends. <laughs> Wish me luck. 
Did you do anything special? Like, what did you do to celebrate? Did you go out to eat? Did you, what'd you do? What does one do to celebrate their 53rd? Okay, flying geese. Here we go. These are little flying geese. Eight flying geese. make guess what you guys camera is slated to arrive today <clears throat> so next week hopefully you will see me making these flying geese camera and other equipment i should say and hopefully the setup will go smoothly. There shall be no problems. And all will be good. Okay. I'm going to trim these apart. Happy anniversary, happy anniversary. Thank you all. Hello, Susan. Yes, what did you guys do, Georgia? What did you and your husband do to celebrate your 53rd? All right. I'm going to trim these. Okay, there's half. Now I gotta add the other wings. Press these. flying geese. I love this green fabric from hometown. It's such a pretty shade of green. Okay, now I'm going to add my other geese wings.
be so nice once camera gets here because then I won't feel rushed. Right now I always feel rushed. husband and I still find things to talk about. We, to, we went to Branson for lunch and just drove around. Just the two of us. How nice. Just a low key chilled day. Pauline says, I got my shoreline quilt kit in the mail. Thank you. You are welcome. This one, Edelweiss. Do you starch Angela? So I follow, I, I do starch a little bit. I follow Lori's starching method. And so I use my Mr. Spray bottle. And I have Mary Ellen's, which we have in the shop in different scents even. I don't think this one is scented. I think this one's just plain. But I have two of these bottles. One of these is upstairs and it's all faded because I left it out in the sunshine. Um I just put water in that one for my crochet blocking. But this one has a mixture of half Mary Ellen's Best Press and half water. I, 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 I follow what Lori does because I don't like, I don't care for my um, fabric being super starched. I like for it to be, you know, like I, I, I like to feel like I'm still working with fabric. But everybody has their own method that works for them. So... What do you do, Pauline? Do you have a method or you're kind of trying to figure it out? You're trying out your options and you're trying to land on something. Don't feel rushed. The sound of the sewing machine is music to our souls. It does sound nice, doesn't it? Okay, look, there's going to be my flying geese. Once I press them open. What is Pauline saying? Oh, you haven't answered yet. I'd like to know what you're what you're thinking. Are you leaning towards something? Do you already have a starching method that you like? Some people really like to starch heavy because it improves their accuracy. And um, some people, you know, starch a little bit and some people starch really a little bit. I tried different methods. Don't have a favorite yet. Yeah. So, yes, that's what I've landed on. I used to, I have tried... I mean, I used to do other starching methods. For a while there, I just used water and, you know, would like spritz with water and then press. Um, for a while, I used the, um, I probably still have some of it here. 505, is that what, is that what it's called? Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like drench it or submerge it in a vat of starch. I've never done that, but I did, you know, douse it with like a heavier starch um, but I didn't, I didn't care for that either. And then I started doing the half and half and I was like, 
It's perfect. It's got a little bit of starch in there. So it gives that a little bit more of a crispness than just water, but not so much so that um, I felt like I was working with paper versus fabric. Susie, I heavy starch, but not soaked stiff. Okay, so that's kind of what I tried before too. Like I, you know, douse it with a good amount of starch, but not submerge it. I just use, Susan says, a light mist of Mary Ellen's before I cut my pieces. Yeah. So that's kind of what I do. Same thing, just with a little bit of water in it. So it's water and water and Mary Ellen's. Susan, do you try the different scents of Mary Ellen's? And do you have a favorite? Okay, all my flankies are pressed. Ready for the next step. Nancy, the lavender scent is my fave. I ordered by the gallon. I like Mary Ellen's lavender. Very calming to me. Okay, I have to try it. So I have a big, huge thing of just the unscented, and so I'm working my way through that. But we have a lot of requests for different scents in the shop. So we have the unscented and then we have lavender in there. People also requested um, linen. I think there must be like a linen, like a fresh laundered linen smell scent. And I think there's like a citrus one. And so I want to try some of these and see what I like. You gravitate towards unscented. Okay, you've tried lavender and vanilla and peach. So I wonder, I wonder if I will gravitate towards unscented too. Because I've I've been perfectly happy with unscented to this point. Okay, I think I have all my pieces to start. Oh, I gotta make those. Well, well, let me grab a smaller design board here to lay out my cute little. Like cute little and then these are all gonna go up here. Then we have these. We're gonna go there and we have these that are gonna go here. Yeah, so these, these beauties together. Lavender and linen are my favorite. I like lavender, so Susie. All right, everybody has their favorite. I got to try one. I got to see. I've only done the unscented so far. Okay. Come together nicely here, shall we? Thank you. 
What in the world? I'm missing a... <laughs> I'm missing one of these. Let me be sure I put this together right. All right. These are all done. What are people saying? Carolyn, I like the citrus. Valeria, hello. My sweet hubby decided to hang pictures today, so I'm trying my best to help him. <laughs> it took this long since we've moved in to get this done. That's an easy thing to take a long time to do. My heavens. My poor little one. So I took down... Um, I was getting out spring stuff and the other day and I was decorating a table and put a little table runner on it and um, got out the pictures that I put on it usually of the kids. And this is how terrible I am. I have yet to get any pictures of my little one printed because everything's always on a digital camera. Did I do this right? I don't think I did. Oh, darn it all. Nope, those are supposed to go the other way. But these are right. Wait, so I'm gonna press these and I'm gonna rip those off. So the other day when I was do, putting that table together, she was helping me. <laughs> she was like, where are pictures of me? I said, oh, I know we need to get pictures of you up in here. So it's easy to do. It is easy to do. Just finished. My last retreat gift. You did, Marsha? That's so exciting. I'm going to be working on some retreat goodies tonight, actually. My happy little Stitch Shop team and I were having a little pizza party tonight and some crafting with it. So that'll be kind of fun. It needs to go that way. Oh, I had it set on here wrong. So that will be fun. That's got to feel good, Marsha. Are you all ready to go now that you have your retreat gifts done? Or you still have more prep to do? Angela, does the 30 count include all the committee members, including you? Yes. Yes, and you'll probably have a couple left over. Well, I haven't gotten you that other information you asked for yet either, Sharon. Just uh, if you don't hear from me, just text me and remind me. Absolutely not more to do. I knew that as, as I was asking the question, I was like, she's going to have more to do. She's not ready yet. Okay, there's that. One more, and then I'll get this sewn up quick. Yeah. 
here's a crazy question. If you could be any sewing item, notion, accessory, if you could be any of them, what would you be? If you could be any, what would you be? Before I saw all of them, I'm going to check this. Okay, that's right. That's right. All right, we have them done. Now I need to sew those two together. We're all, Walgreens lets you upload digital pictures and then just pick them up. I know, I just need to do it. That would be a bobbin that never, oh, that's a good one. Oh, the never ending bobbin. The sewing machines because it puts it all together. That's true. The hometown finishing kit from Lori Holt is so cute. I have two houses to go. They have been fun. Have it, aren't they fun? I love the finishing kit for these hometown houses. I'm super excited to get it all put together. The rotary cutter because I could touch all the fabric. That's a good one. That's a good one. You get to play with all of the fabric if you're the rotary cutter. Or the thread, maybe. I guess. All right, I'm gonna line up these seams.
mirrors are done. Hopefully they all look good. When I press the bump in here. I'm gonna wanna trim these up, make sure. Good. Okay, what sizes are these supposed to be? Three and a half by three and a half. by three and a half. so much nicer once so they're trimmed up. Pottery <clears throat> cutter, I will do my hometown when I get back from Brazil, says Valeria. Wendy, hello, Wendy. I've been working on wedding quilt for my niece who's getting married next month. I've been changing around the sewing room, says Renee. What quilt are you doing? Um, Wendy. How exciting. What, what a nice gift. Come on, stay in place. This one. Okay, now we have each of these. And we have, where'd they go? Each of these. I 
and <sighs> look. It's this is probably one of my favorite parts when you like busy, busy, busy doing all the stuff, and then you're putting all the puzzle pieces together, and then you see it laid out, and you're like, oh, that is what we are working on. You see the block finally come together. Okay, so I'm going to go sew these together quick. See if I can. Oh, I love it when it comes together. Now let's just keep playing nicely with each other. that first row. Okay, gonna do the middle row. the second row to the first row. Last row complete. Let's try to line it up here.
press this. So pretty. Okay, what's going on? Mary, that's so sweet. A piece and quilt sampler by Susan and Lisa Alexander. Okay. Deborah, working on block number five of Mercantile. Nice. You're making progress. I would be a Lori Holt design board, <laughs> highly sought after, brings organization to a project, gets to travel from workstation to workstation. So true. And other places on retreats and all of that stuff. Yay, Liz says those color are amazing. Patty says that's, that's hard eyes. I love smelling my dog's fur. You do? I guess it depends on if my dog is, um, smells good or not. Okay, so this is supposed to be eight and a half. I feel like I might need to straighten some stuff out here. Yeah, it's a little wonky in the middle. Okay, now I need to add these borders to it.
There we go. I'm going to grab my ten and a half. Trim up any. Okay, now now it's time to put the stuff together. This goes on the bottom, so three rows. It looks like Patty must have, <laughs> I know, <laughs> I know, I thought the same thing. I thought, oh, that's interesting. Don't know. Um, I'm gonna put that up so you can look at all the stuff back there. Okay, so we have the top. I'm gonna sew these middle two together. You guys can't see that. There it is. I'm going to trim it up. Get some of this stuff out of the way. Sixteen. 
16 and a half by 16 and a half. I feel like that's too long. Did I cut this wrong? I feel like that's too wide. Yes, it must, must be. I cut it out. Two and a half. I feel I think maybe I cut it at three and a half. Gosh, what did I cut it at? So that for sure. So that would be those should be two and a half, be two and a quarter. So yes, I definitely cut my bottom one wrong, but if there's one to be cut wrong, that's the one. So I'm okay with that. Oh, you will? Are you bringing yours to the retreat? Great job. Thank you, Marcia. I'm gonna try to line this up. cut off this bottom because then we'll have two yep can't wait to get mine so pay no attention to that Pay no attention to what I'm doing. Just pretend you didn't see that. Okay, now I think it is officially, officially finished. Yes, that looks more like it. Not so much grass. More like the rest of them. So, ta da! I finished number five. There it is. Number five. I think it looks pretty okay. Not perfect, but okay. And now I'll be moving on to number six is the plan for next week. So six is up for next week. Okay, what are people saying? So pretty, I hope you bring mine to work on the retreat. Very pretty, your box is gorgeous. Can't wait to start that one. So pretty, beautiful, my curtains are done too, yay! We made progress today for Whip Wednesday. All right. Not perfect, but it's it's okay. It's pretty pretty okay. You can live with it, I think. It's all right. Perfection is a myth. Well, thank you. Thank you for saying so. I have never I have always said I am not a perfect sewist. So I can definitely see, but it's you know, the blocks are Lori's blocks are also very forgiving, but unless, like right now I'm kind of obsessing with it, but if I didn't obsess with it and I just kind of looked at it, I'd be like, oh, that's a nice block. So I'm not going to get bogged down in the obsession. There are some points that are cut off. There are some things that aren't lined up perfectly. And it's okay. So true. Hey, Jude. So true. Okay. Thanks, you guys, for joining me for Whip Wednesday. I will let you go. I hope you made progress with me today, even if it was imperfect progress. And um, I will plan to see you tomorrow for our uh, quilting and, and cross-stitch live stream. And then tomorrow night for our Riley Wake Designs new release party. Um. And then I think that's a wrap for this week. 
And then next week we'll have our Lori Holt new release party with Lori and that'll be on Wednesday night. So I hope you can join me for that too. So have a great Wednesday, you guys. I hope you have a good day and I will see you again soon. Take care, everybody. Happy stitching.